<laughs> it's hard for hackers to talk about their feelings, right? <laughs> I've seen uh, a lot of hackers talk about smoking weed, but not a lot of hackers talk about their feelings yet. <laughs> Um, for me, when, I, when I've when i exhausted my target, I have to go look for a new target. And I always have this feeling of, oh my God, I have to start look all over again. I have to start from scratch. On my previous target, at least I had some points which I felt comfortable with. I know that application. Do you have those feelings as well? And how do you deal with them? I'm, I'm struggling with that as well. You get to think of when it's time to actually move on. And I usually base my decision on feeling here. Not on logic, not on rationale, but on feeling. Like, for example, I was working on this target up until yesterday uh, that I reported like maybe four or five bugs in the past two weeks. And this is a private program. And I was working on that target. And of course, there I've only scratched the surface with the target. Maybe I've only looked at one or two percent of uh, its assets, it's a very big target. And I could have decided last night to move on to another asset or to other assets or to other aspect of my methodology for that specific target, or to kind of give myself an, some novelty by looking onto another target that I've been working on in the past. So I decided to actually take a break from my number one target say and actually move on to the second target to kind of get an inflow of excitement and new information so i've uh, looked into the new target and it actually felt really good it felt really refreshing and i'm actually going to look on to that target which i've had a valid submission a week or so ago it was submission in cryptos i'm actually gonna look into the assets of this target for the next couple of days. Then I'm going to go back with a lot of excitement to my previous target because there's a lot of testing that has to be done on it. And I don't want to jump around from target to target. What I've learned through experience, I would say, is that when I first started, I used to move from target to target and it was really frustrating. It, it was extremely frustrating to uh, never actually feel that it's enough, that you leave a lot of stuff on the table, especially if you don't find anything on a target and you spend two or three days on it. It's really frustrating. Uh, and especially if you hack on uh, programs that are public on platforms, because a lot of stuff, a lot of surface level stuff has already been found by other people that are better than you. My current idea is to first focus on a program that doesn't have a lot of eyes on it. You can do that if you're invited on private programs, on platforms, or if you're part of private platforms. I'm talking in this case, if you get invited to private programs on HackerOne and Backroad, or if you're part of private platforms such as Cobalt or Synac, or you can find uh, external programs. This might be a little bit tricky, but there are thousands of external programs out there waiting for security researchers to jump on. And it might take a little bit of time until you find a good target. When you find a good target, you can stick to it. And when you do that, you will not feel the urgency to move on because you will be in contact with the security team you will have you will kind of develop some sort of a relationship with that team in my case that actually makes me even though i get a little bit bored after maybe two or three weeks of testing on the same target i'm just going to go to a target that i've previously hacked on and then I'm going to come back with new resources. So the idea is jumping from one target to another, depending on what you're focusing on, is on the long term a strategy that's not going to work if you want to become a successful security researcher. If you have a star scope, you can do recon for days, maybe even for weeks. But if you have just a small target, you won't probably be focusing too much on recon, but on actual active testing.
Level up your skills in bug bounty hunting and penetration testing with my course Recon in Cybersecurity and master the fascinating world of reconnaissance. Link below.